what's up you guys sit down and still I am really excited because I am going on my way I'm traveling right now to go to our new hospital for our training so um, the hospital that I've been at for the past year has actually built a whole brand spanking new hospital and um, I have to go there for training on the new system and so I'm on my way over there right now I'm really excited I'm gonna kind of just take you um, with me as I go to this training and you know hopefully I get to see some of the new hospital and then you guys will get to see some of it as well so let's get going excited I don't have that much time left to actually get to the hospital so once I get there I'll show you guys like the outside and the new side I mean I am so excited because who doesn't like something new right everybody likes new things um, especially if they're supposed to be better so um, I'm really excited to see kind of the upgrades and just like the new floors and all of that stuff because our, our other hospital has been around for a long time so um, I'm excited to see what this new hospital has to bring uh, we're still gonna have you know obviously all of the various different things that we need as trauma PAs uh, but apparently our new trauma bay has rooms for way more patients that we currently have right now because um, our main trauma bay right now only houses two patients and then we have like overflow rooms and other areas of the emergency department that we can put trauma patients in because they need to be on monitors they need to be monitored if they're a level one trauma like every I believe it's like two minutes or something like that we're all like they're taking vital signs so they have to be able to be somewhere that all of these things can go you know take place and so the new uh, trauma bay is supposed to have all of those bells and whistles, but like extra. So I'm really excited about that. And um, um, we'll see, I'll show you guys exactly what is going on. All right, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I'll show you guys when I get a little bit closer what the new hospital looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, paid a million dollars and I can't go back. Got a lot of jewelry on me, man. You can't hold that. Well, ask me better, tell him that I ain't All right, we're almost there. We're four minutes away. Um, so... I think I told you guys that we're training on a new um, EMR system and so I trained on this system when I was a student however uh, it was at another hospital and that was over like a year and a half ago that I was actually using this system so I wasn't able to opt out of the training but um, I mean this training is gonna be like all day I'm here from 8 to 7 which is bananas but I wanted to kind of just get it out of the way um, and make sure that I was able to get it done oh my guys look at it it's so pretty oh I'm so excited y'all y'all have no idea all right now I gotta figure out how to get in here So, gotta get masked up. I'm gonna put my shield on shortly. I know my audio is probably like really, really trash right now, but that's all because I have this mask on. So, hopefully, I can take some video when I get in and show you guys the actual, like, some of the ins and outs of the hospital. I don't know because I don't know where I'm going. All right. All right walking down the hallway they have all these signs that keep telling you not to go in somewhere but then you can't see like that don't enter all right that's 
looking nice though. Look at these floors, y'all. Looking nice. Okay, well, let me pay attention to my rooms. All right, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, hey, me. All right, so I am back in my car um, because it was lunchtime. So I went across the street to this Chick fil A and got some fries and a frosted lemonade um, because I don't eat meat. So I did that and now I'm back in the car. I wish I could show you guys everything, but I can't because they specifically told us not to be nosy. Don't go exploring around the hospital because it actually is still under construction. Um, this is like April that the, we're in, but the hospital is not set to be like completely fully operational and up and running um, until June. So still have like nails and various different like, I don't know if they have exposed wires, but maybe like some you know ceiling boards are out or whatever the case may be it is very much still a construction site the room that we're in uh was a nice little small compact conference room it was cute um had some about 12 or so computers because that's how many people were in the class so it was nice but it was freezing like crazy so uh i think i showed you guys some pictures um aunt's calling me so i will come back to you guys and talk to you once I get back in the uh, the actual space all right all right you guys so we are in luck because I actually have a training session on the seventh floor so I will get to take you guys upstairs and hopefully I can just get to see some of the rooms and what they have to offer on that floor let's keep our fingers crossed you guys I don't know. oh it's coming it's coming I don't know this is so fancy no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm like sitting up here like like I've never been on an elevator before. Look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh. It's still being built. What is this? Look. It's wood. Wood in the elevator. Okay. But I'm getting off on the seventh floor. Room. Pretty nice. Single bedrooms they're gonna get. Ooh, look at their TVs upgraded. This is nice. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Guys. They have a nice shower, bathroom. Me. <laughs> this is nice, y'all. Wow. It's nice. All right, you guys. So I am back. I had to get a sweater because it was freezing in there. And then, um, I'm really fading. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, I was at these this training session for from eight to seven, so almost um, twelve hours. So fading. That's why I don't like these like twelve hour shifts, and I'm grateful for my twenty fours. But um, I hope you guys like the hospital. I think it's going to be nice. I think we're going to have a very difficult time training on this system, like changing from 
the current system that we're in to a new EMR for the first few weeks, but we'll see exactly um, how well things go with that. So uh, if you have any comments for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the new patient rooms and, and how it looks. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Instagram at Van the PA and on Instagram at GetThatCUniversity. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!